Zoom. Love it and hate it. Let me tell you what I love about it and some ways around what I don't like about it. I had a Zoom meeting about six weeks ago with a national group that represents a very rare disease. One of the first things that happened was someone asked the executive director how her surgery went and she had this disease. There were four new board members on the call, 18 total. And she said, I'd rather, I, this is not the time. And she was really taken off base. In fact, the surgery had gone quite badly according to what she had told me before the call. We got off to kind of a rocky start that way. One of the things that was good about being on Zoom is one of the people was extremely ill and she was in bed during the call. She could have never made it to an in-person meeting. And so people were glad to see her. The other thing that was great is that there was a physician who was a specialist who lived in England and he was on the call for 15 minutes and they would have never gotten him in person. So again, that was wonderful. As good as I think I am as a facilitator, I'm not unrealistic. And I think that a lot of the best work happens over lunch, coffee, at dinner, because people really get to know each other and trust each other. And you don't have that on Zoom. Let's go over a few things that we did the next time that made it much, much better. First of all, the woman who was sick in bed passed away. And so we started the call 30 minutes early for anyone who wanted to talk about her. And her family was on the call. And there's sort of three aspects of meetings with boards. They can be governance, management, or therapy. And this group needed that 30 minutes of therapy to say goodbye to their friend and deal with their own fears because they all had a loved one or had this disease. The next thing is we encourage people to use the chat box to ask personal questions, and they did. And so there was a chance to connect, not the same, not as good, but it worked. And finally, we had a chance to talk about how much time and money this saved the organization. So we're gonna try next year to have one in person and six calls on Zoom. I think it's a good compromise, but use those chat boxes and every meeting will start 15 minutes early for people who just want to chat between themselves. Could be worse. Call me if you're ready for some training.